What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Life is Cooler with AC. I am your host, Alex Cunningham, and today we actually have one of my favorite comedians of all time. Uh, I've met this guy a while back, and at first I thought it was just like a thing, but then I realized, no, it's just him. So uh, give it up for a good friend of mine, uh, Vic Vinegar. What's what? up? Hey, this is a nice nice setup you got here. This is good. Hey, this thanks, man. <laughs> yeah, this is real nice. Hey, uh, first, real quick, you guys know that we always try new beers, mm -hmm. and yeah. uh, I offered one to Vic. Yeah, no, um, that, that's what I drink when I when I'm when I have a hangover. This, <laughs> this, is, this is the real deal here. This yeah, the, <laughs> he was, <laughs> so I go and I pick this stuff out, and I'm like, you know what? Based off of you know the the person and what they do, and kind of you know like just their style, I was like, I'm gonna try something a little bit different, honey rye, because I know that he likes you know rise you know i didn't realize that that was just your yeah. that's yeah, no, all that's, the <laughs> that's what i drink when i'm driving that's, that's the stuff that you're like no i gotta drive guys i only have one or two and then you break out this honey beer and then <laughs> you know like <laughs> but, yeah but yeah, it was a sweet gesture sweet gesture you didn't know anybody you're a good kid yeah you didn't know anybody better. well that like it's like it, it's it's weird <sighs> this is the first time i've ever had somebody be like nah that's bullshit i'm gonna drink Real. I mean, it's man. after five o'clock, so I mean, I mean, you can be surprised true. we're not doing heroin right it's now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, if it was thirty years ago, I'd be doing heroin probably right now. Well, that's what's so funny is that like I feel like every time that we're together, I learn more about you. Me like, too. I mean. <laughs> Me too, you know, because uh, a lot of this shit's buried deep down in places I don't talk about at night, you know. I don't talk about this shit at parties, you know. And uh, and then it's like we have a conversation. I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot about, like, like, forgot about that stint in prison at that time, you know. Like, that was, yeah. Well, it's, and, like, it's so funny because, like, like I said, I always thought that this was just like an act. This was just like a thing. And then I realized that it's like, no, back whenever I used to scam people and do this, whenever I used to sell car, And I'm like, so that – this is just what you wear. Yeah, I mean, it's comfy. And, you know, <laughs> they say dress, if you dress older, you never look like you're aging. So <laughs> I started wearing this at nine, and I'm slowly growing into it. Uh, I figure <laughs> one day I'll actually look like, you know, an older man. <laughs> yeah, no, but you... Not you, now. No, nah, you look great right now. Um, Like, and for those of you at home, I don't know if you can uh, see this, but uh, there's a small crack uh, in my shades, so there is actually sunlight coming into the room, so that's why Vic has his sunglasses on. That's not um, the only reason Vic has his sunglasses on. It was a late <laughs> night last night. It was Halloween. I mean, that, so. That's true. Did you do anything? Uh, Yeah, I, I had two Friday nights and a Saturday. It was crazy. That's good as fuck. Oh, the the honey had, beer? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you're missing out. I don't think but, <laughs> You had two Friday nights on a Sunday night? What the fuck does that mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> it, was like, you know. it, was, uh, it was a long night, you know? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's uh, how long have you been doing stand-up? I don't really do stand-up. I uh, Well, I mean, I've, I've seen you stand up. I stand up. <laughs> um, comedy is really just a thing that uh, I use to control the audience when I'm doing my act, my thing. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it's it's difficult. Like, I started in I started in New York and then went to Laughlin, Nevada, because Vegas was too far. <laughs> it was, you know, it's right outside. It's so much cheaper to work there. Yeah, and, I mean, uh, that makes sense. It's off the strip. Mm -hmm, yep. And I was doing, like, variety shows where we would come out as different musical characters and, you know, do uh, funny mix-em-ups or ha-has and, like, Whatever I was, I'd be like Sonny Bono, and somebody would be Cher. We'd sing "I Got okay. You, Babe," and we'd run around, and then we'd put on different costumes, and we'd come out. You know, that's actually how I got my name. I, I was doing uh, doing Sonny. That was one of the last show, last bits that I would do during this musical act, and um, I was so sweaty from just do, you know doing all the costume change and stuff like that. Run, right. you you run outside the stage left, go around the back, change, run back in stage right, do another character, sing another song, oh Oklahoma, <laughs> then go around, you know, and, and then you're like hot time somewhere in the city, you know what I mean, and uh, doing all the stuff. And switching out wigs and stuff. And by the time I would get to Sonny Bono, I was so sweaty. I mean, I was just disgusting. And you can't wash a wig. That's, you that's can't do it. True. I mean, it's all this, it's like matted yak hair. You know Right, I mean? yeah. Like, it's just, it's not, it's not feasible. So this thing stank so bad. And in the dressing room, they're like, what is that smell? It smells like vinegar. Oh, uh, okay. And they're like, it's Vic. And I'm like, because my real name is Leibowitz. But they're like... <laughs> They're like, it's Vic. <laughs> and they're like, oh, hey there, Vic Vinegar. And it and it just kind of stuck as like a joke with that group. And then later on, you know, when I'm like trying to develop my show, 
Vic Leibowitz, you know, wasn't going to get hired. Right, yeah. You know what that I mean? just doesn't but, sound good. But there were still people, like, around me that would still call me Vic Vinegar every once in a while. There's Vinny, Vinegar, whatever. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, so I was like, ah, Vic Vinegar, that's good. Yeah, I like, um, I didn't know that that wasn't your real name. No. I feel like everybody has fucking stage names, and I'm just like, I'm just me. Well, yeah, and that's why, you know, yeah, that's your down. That's okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? When you get to a certain point where you're on stage, then right, you need yeah. a stage name. You know what I mean? But when you're like in people's backyards and, you know, things like that, then, uh, you know. <laughs> and then it, yeah. You're the equivalent of a bouncy house, basically. Right. <laughs> They're like, hey, for 15 bucks an hour, I'll come out to your backyard and I'll entertain your children. And then, you know. Yeah, well, um, so, yeah, like, so I haven't been in Vegas or fucking New York, I guess. So well, yeah, yeah, but there's lots of places. But, yeah, anyway, <laughs> Vic, Vinegar, Vic Vinegar, it has good alliteration, you know what I mean? Yeah, and it rolls off the tongue. Rolls off the tongue. I, I, I ordered, I, so for me, being rich was having embroidered towels oh, and, okay. and robes, you know, yeah. and, and, an, and a refrigerator that had an ice machine. That's right. Like, I've made it, you know? But uh, I, I got, I wanted to get some, like, special, a robe with, like, with my initials, VV right, yeah, on yeah. it, you know what I mean? Uh, but they charge by the letter. <laughs> so I just bought a I bought one with a W. And I was like, well, that's the same. It's just a, it's just closer. You know what I mean? I was like, oh, I can save on one letter. Like a w. It's fine, right? <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. V V W. Right? Yeah, but what the, how how much extra for a fucking letter? I was like forty cents, but I mean <laughs> <laughs> but time is shipping. money. Yeah, when it, sh- it was shipping. <laughs> yeah, you know? well, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I guess I get that. Um, so as far as your comedy goes, like I've heard that you do a lot of, you know, like kind of these experiences. And so are you using them as, you know, like kind of beefing them up or are these true stories? Like the, the one about where you, you – Worked at a costume store. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good, yeah. So I used to work in this costume store, and we used to you know again funny mix em ups. We would dress <laughs> up as uh, different characters and go to birthday parties or bar mitzvahs or bat mitzvahs or quinceañeras or you know <laughs> anything with children really. Right. Um, but this this really old Jew uh, owner, like he, I can say that because I'm a Leewood. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm an old Jew myself. Yeah, so, you can uh, say it. Uh, he he was he was really cheap. He wouldn't buy the licenses for any of the characters. Oh, okay, so they were all bootleg costumes. <laughs> <laughs> like it was like Cookie Monster, but it wasn't Cookie Monster. It was like Pizza Monster that you <laughs> buy from China. You know, and he was green and he's like spraying them blue. And uh, and but he would never say no to anybody. It was all about the dollar. I really learned a lot from this guy. Well, like, okay, if you can do it, do it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, yeah. Just fucking do it. Never say no. Never say no. Make That's it a, happen. Yeah, make it work. Fake it till you make it. And if you don't make it, you just fake it. Right. You yeah. Know? Just exactly. keep faking it. It's who you become. <laughs> so uh, so yeah. He. I remember the first time it was uh, somebody hired him. They're like, hey, uh, can I get Scooby Doo to come to my kid's birthday party? Because he was big at the time. Uh-huh. And he's like, yeah, we got Scooby Doo. And I was like, we don't got Scooby Doo. <laughs> I was like, what do we got? We didn't got Scooby Doo. So he's like, uh, here, here you go, Vicky. Yeah, put this on. Put this head on. And it's a kangaroo costume. <laughs> Brown and it's got a long snout and big ears, you know, and it's dog like, you know, but it's not, it's got like boxing gloves and shit. And he put like a blue collar and a yellow diamond around it with an S that he drew in Sharpie and was like, get, go. And I'm like, oh, this is gonna be, I cannot get stoned enough to, to make this okay. So I go and I'm like, hey kids, uh-huh. and I hear the mother in the background on the phone in, in the kitchen going, like, you sent me a goddamn kangaroo, like, I want my deposit back. <laughs> and the kids are just, they don't care. They're like, why do you have a yeah. pouch? And I'm like, those are for my Scooby Snacks. Woo. <laughs> they're like, why do you have boxing gloves? I'm like, those are for boxing ghosts. You know, like, they, they don't care. They're, they're yeah, kids, no, you know. know. Yeah. And, but, uh, and then, you know, he create like, they, the, the Teletubbies came out and he wasn't going to buy one. So he created his own called, like, Tilly Willy. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was just like a, a thing that, like, hangs in front of you, like it one did. of them weird fishes. <laughs> and uh, with a ball on it. Like, this isn't a costume. <laughs> this isn't what we ordered. Yeah, he got raided by Disney lawyers. Uh, oh, shit. Yeah, because he was doing, like, a Lion King thing, but he just got a cat. <laughs> it was just a cat. It was like a tabby cat with stripes, and he just colored. He dyed the whole thing brown. He's like, "You're Simba now," and, <laughs> and you couldn't sing the happy. He, he was convinced the happy birthday song was copywritten, and he's like, uh, you can't, "Don't we don't sing the happy birthday song? We, we just go happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday." <laughs> That's what he was afraid of getting in trouble with. Yeah. Not the fact that I'm wearing a fake bootleg Disney costume. Right. <laughs> it's you know missing I mean? an eyeball. Yeah, I'm Blaze Lightyear. You know I'm, what I mean? I'm pew, pew, pew. And it's just like a Krista McAuliffe spaceman outfit, you know? Like, and, uh, 
but no, he he was like, no, we can't sing the happy birthday song. That's yeah, that, that's where we no, draw that's the where line. line. Yeah. Somebody might hear. Like, what the <laughs> <Somebody. laughs> I hear this. You know? So you've kind of just been a performer your entire life. Yeah, but I didn't realize it. I was just trying to make money, and then you know, it, it, there's in it, where I was at. Like it was either you. You would, like, be a cook or a chef or, you know, you'd work for guys that did stuff that, you know, you didn't want to do, you know what I mean? Kind of right, like, you yeah. know, and, like, eh, whatever. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, and, or, I, feel like you're, I feel like you're passing over some, some details. Yeah, I mean, there was guys, you know, like, neighborhood guys, you know what I mean? Like, neighborhood guys that just, like, oh, hey, why don't you go down here, go down to Jersey and say hi to these guys or, or go pick this up from me and come bring it back or let's, let's heist this airplane at the airport, you know, stuff like that, whatever. Oh, yeah, just, like, just being a drug runner. No, these are like good fellow guys. These are like Italian guys that are like, hey, oh, you know, so fam- family guys, you know. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. So just, yeah, but crime, crime stuff, you know. Right. Yeah, but and, like not illegal. Just, just like. I mean, it was highly illegal. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why I didn't want it. I was like, no, that's not going to work out for me. Oh, uh, yeah. that's. But I was always making them laugh on the stoops. They would be on the stoops and they'd be like, hey, get it. Next time you ever want a job, come out. And I'd be like, oh, what a. You know, you do like impressions, you know, like, hey, you ever want a job, come <laughs> get it. I'd make fun of them, you know. <laughs> right. The other guys, the greasers, the other greasers around them would be like, oh, they got you, whatever. And the one guy would get mad, but all the other guys would be like, ah, settle down, he's just a kid, you know. <laughs> uh, so I'd be like, and they're like, ah, you're funny, you know, you're funny. And then uh, they would have bars and stuff like that, and, you know, I would just start coming around, and yeah, you should come around and, you know, wait tables. And I would wait tables, but I'd make jokes at the table. You okay, know I mean? like yeah. i come out one time as the godfather, you know, with, like, t- toilet paper in my mouth, like, hum, 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 <laughs> you know, and be like, oh, hang on, hang on. and then, you know, just make jokes. And right. then they're like, hey, you should do a little stuff up here for us, little ones and twos, you know. So they put me up there. I did the little ones and twos. And, uh-huh. uh, yeah, you know, I was like, I got some chops. You know, so I, I got looked at more as like a performer than like an inside guy that was doing bad stuff. Uh, okay, well, that Made makes me feel sense. a little yeah. bit better. You know? It's easier to get out that way. Right, yeah, because that's a club you can't, you can't get out of. There's only yeah, one way. Nobody hurts the funny guy. Right, right. Yeah, see, exactly. that's smart. And my jokes would get me into fights, you know. Right. And then they'd get me out of fights just as fast, and that made me sharp because – you can't keep kicking a guy if he's making you laugh. Right. Like I mean, if, you, if they're swinging back philosophy. and you're like, "Oh, you got the gout. I can see your foot's all fucked up." You know what I mean? They're they're like they start chuckling, you know, and then right. they're like, ah, I, "This is pathetic." I'm not right. Gonna, yeah, exactly. Like I'm, I'm kicking me, the shit out of this shit guy. Out of this fucking yeah, gamook. Yeah, not, yeah, no, that's you can't like. I don't know. I like I I've been. I've had the shit kicked out of me many a times, but never was I like, hey, let's throw a joke into here. Oh, I just kept going. Like, yeah. the joke would, I'd start joking with them, and then they'd, you know, start wailing off on me, you know, and, and beating me around and stuff. And I just keep saying stuff because I'm like, I'm not going to fight back. Like, that's not what I got. I don't right, yeah. And I'm not going to intimidate them more and be like, yeah, hey, what? Is that all you got? You know, right, yeah. Exactly. What can I say? Like, there's nothing left for me to say except for, like, ow, oh, stop, ow, you know? Right. So I would just keep going with the jokes and be like, <laughs> you know? And their other fr- the friends would start laughing, and it just it deflates, de escalates. Okay. Okay, yeah, you know yeah. I mean? No, I mean, that makes sense. Uh, it's weird because this whole time I thought that you were from Brooklyn. No, Yonkers. Yonkers it's, it's it's a little south, but it's it's north. Yeah, it's Yonkers, north of Manhattan. Okay. Yeah. So, so yeah, because, like, it, it kind of – it sounds like, you know, like that, that New York accent, but then, like, as you're explaining it, I'm hearing more tones and, you know, mm-hmm. di- different yeah. – okay. And I know that you're highly trained in, in that. Yeah, I mean – In accents. And, right, uh, yeah. You know. Yeah. I, so so what a lot of you guys don't know is I'm classically trained. Oh, are uh, you? In what? In speech therapy. Oh, um, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. That's so, interesting. Well, it, you know, if you can't do, teach, you know. <laughs> 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 so spelling was never my strong point, but I could talk good. Yeah. So yeah, obviously. <laughs> so uh, oh, I never told you this beer is really fucking good. You did tell me. Oh, okay. Yeah, you did tell me. Is so, it hitting you already? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, I'm just getting lost in these stories. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't want you to get drunk on me here <laughs> off this. Uh, what's it called? Buzzy brew. Yeah. See, <laughs> local buzz. Lo- local buzz. Oh yeah, I didn't even tell you guys what it was. So it's by Four Corners Brewing Company. Uh, local buzz. Go check it out. It's actually pretty good. So, uh, Vic, I know you've never watched uh, Life Is Cooler with AC because you know. I... Do you have? Is it on the YouTube's? It is. Oh, yeah. Okay. Do you do you have a computer? Yeah, I got a computer in the in the hotel lobby. There's like a business center. Oh, you know, okay. oh, and I got like a printer and like a lap, uh, like a computer. Do you live in a hotel? Most of the times. Are you traveling or? Yeah, just... yeah, I'm always traveling. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm always <laughs> running from something or running to something. You know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've been on the road for maybe like I don't know, thirty-seven years, something like that. It's been a while. Like I got a, pl- I got an address. You know, for the for like the, a PO box. Yeah, for the government. Right. 
<laughs> but really, I just it's you know, it's a lot of hotels, right? Like technical mo- motels, mo- mostly. Right. Well, see, there's a big difference. Is it weird? Like, are you married? I technically still, but when somebody is missing, you can't declare divorce until they're found. Oh, so, you know, how long has that been? Like, when oh, was the last time? Oh, Jesus Christ, six, six. What what year is it now? Twenty two. Yeah, six years. Jesus. Yeah, I think she just left. I think she's with this this frog over in fucking France. I think she just took off. Really? Were you? Did you have kids? No. I mean, she had kids, but I no. No, <laughs> she okay. No, I, I'm a man. I can't have kids. <laughs> no. No, she she did though. I don't know if they're mine, but she definitely had some. She she had something. Uh, so what is this that I heard that you uh, actually were seven years sober? Yeah, well, it was all right, before California sober was a thing. Uh, you know, what is California sober? Well, California sober is where you just don't do heroin, cocaine. I think it's just weed and, and oh, wine. Okay. okay, I think weed and wine is California sober now. That, I don't know. That's fitting. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. the TikToks. That makes, that makes the sense. Kid with the TikToks. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, it was it was just a thing. It was you know, it was mostly by choice. It was like ninety percent choice and ten percent court ordered. Ah, uh, you know okay. what I mean. It yeah. was one of those things where, like, you, those will get you. Yeah, you got to because, you know, otherwise. And I the, listen. I the one thing I cannot do is go to jail. That is it. Right. Like, I can. I can go to jail. I just can't go to prison. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I don't want to strikes. Uh, it's not going to work out well for me. So when when you know I try to stay within the law, and when they're like, hey, we think you got a problem, you know. And I'm like, I've been drinking for 30 years. I've never had a problem. And right. Like, That's the problem. <laughs> that, the, the problem is that you don't realize that you have a problem. Right. So I quit so that I realized now when I drink, it's a choice. And uh, uh, okay. I choose. You choose. Yeah, okay. Choose yeah. yeah. Well, because we did a show uh, a few weeks ago together, and um, I saw that you didn't drink to begin with. You know, like you were like, nah, I don't want to drink. You know, like I'm doing this this thing, you know, and then by the end of the night, you had drank everything. Yeah, I, I'm not so much addicted to drinking as I am ordering. I uh, okay. love bartenders, man. <laughs> they are the best. You want an education. There's no better place than between two pieces of wood. You know, <laughs> you stand there and they tell you everything you need to know. You know, and if they're girls, oh, my God. But you don't really listen to them. But right, just yeah. Look at them, but, the, but the guys, they got knowledge. They got They've advice. They've seen all kinds of stuff. Yeah. You know? So just standing there and ordering drinks, uh, it, it's it's good. You're not, you know. Okay, yeah. Well, that makes sense. Cool, because at first I thought that you were still sober, and then like I— I was until I had that, until I was drinking. Oh. I arrived so- sober to the show. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, not like weeks of so- sobriety. Oh, sobriety. No, that was different. Yeah. That, okay. Yeah, but I, oh, it's, I, I was sober at the show. Is that why you asked me to blow into that thing in your car? Yeah, yeah. Well, that that's old, man. I got to change the mouthpiece on that. That reminds me. Yeah, that is just to get it started. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, you don't have to, like, continue to do it? No. Just, well, I mean, every time. So what I do is when in the morning before I start drinking, I, I, blow, I fill up a balloon. <laughs> <laughs> and then okay. I just tie it off. And then when I'm after I'm drinking and I'm coming home from the bars or whatever, I just because you got it needs clean breath. You know right. What I mean? Yeah. And uh, then I just open it up and put the balloon in and squeeze it through. It's still my breath. So it's, okay. not, it's not like I'm faking. So nobody's that is the crazy shit. I, so that's like fake pee. Yeah, but it's pee that you made before you got intoxicated. So it's still right. your pee. <laughs> it's still your pee. What are they going to say? Yeah. You, you know what I mean? Like this isn't yours. Yeah, it yeah, is. But it's still clean. Yes. And it's clean. <laughs> I was clean when I peed. Right. See, this, guys, like, honestly, I did not realize that, like, I knew Vic had been around for a minute, but I didn't realize that he had experienced so many things in life. Like, this is just so bizarre. Oh, yeah, there's so many ways to, uh, you know, stay on the up and up. I mean, the laws out there are bullshit. I mean, some of them are just bullshit. They're, they're, uh, Kanye can tell you all about them. They're, but, they're, you know, uh <laughs> God, like Kanye West? Yeah, Kanye West. He's got some good opinions on the people that make the laws. I've heard he's kind of like in hot water right now. Is he really? Yeah. What'd he do? I don't know. Uh, like, I don't, I don't I don't follow. Like, I have no that's idea. That's a shame. Well, but, I hope he pulls out of it. I, <laughs> I, hope, I hope he pulls out of it. Yeah. We, we need another gospel rap album. That's Well, see, I, like, so I've just, I've never really listened to him. But when he did that song with Katy Perry... You know, I'm an extraterrestrial, yeah. an alien. Mm-hmm. Like that, that really touched me in a way that I was just like, nah, maybe this guy will do something, you know, good in because life. Because you've been touched by aliens before, is that why? <laughs> well, is that it? Like, yeah. I mean, I, I don't I, mean to probe you about the subject, <laughs> but uh, 
let's just say that like was it like an extraterrestrial alien no but it was a guy named juan right that, you know i mean we've all been there yeah, yeah so we've like all been there. we've all had tickets and near the border right yeah. so but it, it makes it hard because you know like i do actually it's still a pending case yeah so oh, I trust can't. me i know yeah <laughs> He said I was actually there. Uh, <laughs> not for that one. Not- <laughs> you do look like this guy that I knew once, but yeah, you're, you're not. <laughs> Where are you going next? Are you still? Are you staying around this area? Uh, I'm gonna head to Albuquerque uh, probably tomorrow night. Uh, that quick into Thursday? Yeah, it's you're only, just like you're just like, like fuck like 10 it. Hours. It's only ten hours. Yeah. Okay. And then from there, I'm gonna go to Salt Lake City, and then Boise, and then Seattle. Then I'm gonna make my way down the coast to California because it's winter. So I'm like, I'm gonna, you know. Yeah, get a little, get a little warm. Right. And then, uh, you don't look like a beach guy to me, though. Oh yeah, yeah. I love the beach. Yeah, I, I wear this, but I like looking. You know. Oh, okay. <laughs> you wear this on the beach. Well, what I do is I, <laughs> I pretend <laughs> that I'm a sketch artist, right? So I get this this big drawing pad, and uh, I just sit on this beach chair. And then when the ladies walk by, I ask them if they want me to draw them. And the whole time, I'm just looking at the boobs. <laughs> I'm looking at the boobs, and, and that's it. It's, it's not a good drawing, but it gives me an excuse to stare at them for, like, five minutes, and they're okay with it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because like, if you're just like, I'm going to stare at you for five minutes, like, they're going to call the Baywatch or whatever. Right. But, like, if if they're volunteering, they're sitting there, and I'm just, like, staring at the boobs and the, the legs. <laughs> drawing and their circles. Feet, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, just doing it all. And, and then I hold it up, and they're like, oh, what a shitty artist. I'm like, yeah, well, that, that was the con. You know? Right, yeah. Here's my five dollars. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I get five bucks and my spank bank is full. And <laughs> you know, you see home. that's smart too. Like, because doing that, like on the beach on the boardwalk, they're already in their bathing suits. Yeah, you know, like if you do that, like in Manhattan. You oh know, no, like, yeah, you don't do it in Manhattan. Yeah, you know, like well, nice scarf. <laughs> Wow, that's sad. I can't even see the nape of you. I'm a really a neck guy. You know, you got great earlobes. That's that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So clearly, you've done this before. Oh yeah, I mean it's a quick way to make a few bucks, and it's easy. I mean, a, the drawing pads like a dollar, two dollars, and then you know one drawing of five bucks, you make you know now everything's in the green. Oh nope, you know, yeah, everything's profit. Right. Well, that makes sense, and you can probably get what like twenty, twenty know, pictures like, or like that. four or five, or depending like, on how busy the beach is, you know, and how. Oh, and if yeah, the word yeah. gets around, you know, that you're not really an artist. <laughs> uh-huh. Have you ever been caught? Well, I mean, there's nothing to catch. I really am an artist. I'm just not a good one. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> but that, I have gotten called out. You know, right. people have, have, didn't want to pay, and I'm like, that's not what I'm here for anyway. So yeah. win win. Well, is know? it hard now with like social media and stuff where people are like, nah, don't go to this beach if you see this guy. Yeah, I don't know. I don't read Yelp. You know. Okay. I don't, yeah. I don't know if they Yelp. Uh, yeah. You know, caricature drawers on the beach, but I think that there's more options than Yelp. Is there? Yeah. Oh man, yeah. that's great. That, that's fucking dangerous. <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> are you are you on any of the the social platforms? Or are you just still- uh yeah? My nephew made an Insta Instagrams. Uh, and I know he's on the YouTubes, but man, one of these days I want to get on the YouTube. I can't wait. That's making it, man. Yeah, you know? that's kind of just the place to be right being now. Being on the YouTubes, you know, yeah. somebody somebody sets you down and they film you and give you money and then you leave. Ah. I don't I don't think that's how it works. Well, whatever. But uh that's that's any time I've ever been filmed, that's how it's called. Oh, yeah. no, 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 no. That's not that's red tube. Yeah, that's what I said. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no, no. Total when when you sit down when, and they film you, you and then they yeah. pay you. No, yes. that, that's pornography. And there's a black guy in the corner. Yeah, no, no, no. That they don't put that on YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. No, no, no. Yeah, that's you, red tube. Yeah, the logo is red and white. <laughs> That's right. The, yes. the U is red. <laughs> right. You too. Now I heard, <laughs> I heard that you uh, you do this uh, really good ventriloquist act. I do. Yeah. So you know, I got this kid that lives with me. Kinda. I'm like a legal guardian type thing. You know. Um. It's just like it was. You know. He needed a, a guy. I took him under my wing, and then I get tax refund breaks and stuff like that. Okay. And, you know, he needs food and like little odd jobs and little funny mix em ups, and. Uh, so somebody put out a thing in the back page like, hey, we, you know, we're looking for ventriloquists. I'm like, oh, we can do that. I'm, I'm, I, you know, I, I talk without moving my mouth like half the time I talk. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm just like, oh, I've yeah, noticed Jesus today. Christ, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Yeah, I just thought you were drunk. So, well, I mean, it's just it's, well, I'm just sharpening the tools, you know, so. <laughs> OK, yeah. Uh, I don't know if I am the ventriloquist or the ventriloquist is me. You know what I mean? Okay, There's all yeah. blur when the arts happen. But right. I was like, yeah, so um, we can do this. There's no problem. Uh, so just dress up like a little puppet boy, and and I'll we'll play around with mix 'em ups, and I'll do the thing, and 
and you do that, and then so, you know he's got school sometimes and camp, and you know then he gets taken away sometimes, and so I had to improvise, and sometimes they do it with the audience members because you know they bring them the uh, they had a puppet, and then I got this okay. uh, got this got this chick that lives with me named Sticky Vicky. Is that I, your girlfriend? Well, she's a blow up doll, but I, she's still <laughs> okay. yeah, like I could, it's still like a puppet. You know what I mean? Like it's right. still I'm I'm I'm, an, I'm doing the magic. You know what I mean? Like I'm animating it. But yeah, I do the whole thing. Ventriloquism, magic. Yeah, what do we got? What do you? What do we Just got? name a card. Name one. Uh, let's go with the Eight of Hearts. That was so close. It was the Seven of Spades. <laughs> what? Um, that, yeah, that was magic. That was you know what I'm cool? saying? Yeah, magic. Uh, we do magic, uh, juggling. Um, I do a lot of singing, a lot of dancing. Um, I can train dogs to like run up stuff, jump through things, you know, okay. bite you, not bite you. You know what I mean? Oh um, yeah, yeah. I so can, you like you train dogs? Yeah, you know, you just yeah, you can train anything. You can train anything really. Okay, you, you can train a bird. You can train a cat. You can't. You cannot train a Latino woman though. That's the <laughs> thing. That's where that is, that is where the line is fucking drawn. <laughs> that my is friend. the last. That is the feral last animal. Frontier. Yeah, dude. <laughs> that is some Lewis and Clark shit right there. That has not been discovered. <laughs> Nobody knows. You cannot tell a Latino woman what to do. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can train pretty much anything else. Now, is there any job that you haven't done that you're like, man, I wish I could do that? You know, like, do you aspire to be anything, or if you could just kind of fucking nailed all of it? I mean, so there's things I'm not good at. I'm not good with cars, you know, and I wish that I was because then I could, like, if I see somebody stranded on the side of the road, I always wanted to be that guy that could pull over and help them. You okay. know what I mean? And be like, ah, hey, boom, I just did this one thing. They're like, ah, oh, thank you so much. Let me blow you. I'm like, ah, it's not it. <laughs> I just, it was uh, your, your transmission belt, you know? Right, was yeah. Like, and I had to juke it, you know? That would be cool. I always okay. wanted to be able to do that, but I'm just not that, you know, I don't want to start. Uh, I also want to learn Chinese. Because the ladies over there are so... Like the language? Yeah. Wanna... yeah oh, okay. Yeah, the ladies over there are so cheap. Um, <laughs> so if I, could, if I could bargain, you know what I mean? But right, I know I'm going to yeah. go over there. I'm going to get taken. You know right, I mean? yeah. So I'm not going to know what they're saying. <laughs> it's just but gonna... I always wanted to learn Chinese. <laughs> it's just going to be all fucking bing, bang, bong, and you're not going to know. Yeah, I'm not going to know. Yeah. I'm not going to know. Well, see, uh, I, I want to backtrack here a little bit, though. Uh, you said that you wanted to learn how to do cars so you could get uh, paid and blow jobs. Um, or whatever. It could be a hand job. I mean, it could also <laughs> just be thanks sometimes. That's good, too. If they're ugly, you know, thanks is enough. <laughs> yeah. I you mean, know, you're like, no, no, really, that's good. That's, that's all, good. That's fine. That's all I need. Just your appreciation is fine. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah, but, you know, it, it, so I, I actually do know how to work on cars a little bit. Yeah. And uh, I've never once received a hand job or a blow job uh, as a form of payment. So Okay. It, so you're new. No. <laughs> No, you're not that good, I just what you're saying. This I thing feel you gotta learn. I feel like y you just they don't give those out willy nilly. You know what I mean? Like you you got to work a little bit harder for those. Yeah, willy nilly. That was the name of the character, the Teletubby. That's right. <laughs> willy nilly. I mean, fuck, man. It all comes back. <laughs> it all comes back. Isn't that you know weird? everybody that says they work on cars. Like I work. Uh, you know I know a lot about cars. Always has like two fucking junk ass cars sitting in there, fucking. <laughs> It's like if you know about them, wouldn't you know better than to buy this piece of shit? <laughs> because they're like, I know, oh yeah, I, I do, I know cars, I know cars, and then it's like a fucking whatever the fuck that is out there, you know, a '62 Datsun, and it's like falling apart. It's got Bondo holding it together, and like I was like, oh, you know about, I, I don't know shit about cars, and I know not to buy that car. <laughs> what the fuck are you learning? Where is this school you went to? Well, so, uh, it's actually it's a '76 Firebird. Let's clear that up. Oh, in 76, I, my bird was on fire, too. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There was this cheerleader. We'll, we'll get into that later, but go ahead. Tell me about your bird. So uh, I, I bought it to fix it, right? Mm. So, so I'm trying to – it's, it's kind of like what, how you feel – you know, probably with a lot of these whores that you're banging, yeah. um, that you know, you, you you want to find something that is fucked up and make it good again. I mean, everybody I come in contact with, present company included, I, <laughs> the best part of their day is being around me. Whether it's the audience, whether it's the whores, whether it's the you know the chef that's cooking for me, whether it's my friends, whether it's whatever. You know right. what I mean? Like it's like I gotta give them something. You know what I mean? Right, because yeah. life is monotonous, and and then one day the camera just goes off and the lights go down. And, yeah. And what do you got? You know. Right. So at least when they're dying and they're in the deathbed and their eyes are getting ready to close, their family's around. They can be like, ah oh, man, man, Vic Vinegar was a funny guy. That was good. That was a good show I saw back in '82. You know, so, as their last thoughts when they. Were so, so, I I just want to make sure that I understand what you're saying here is that 
a random whore that you did blow with in New York City in 1982, you want them to think back to that night and be like, he was a good guy. Yeah. Yeah, and usually it is that night when they're dying. That's usually like it's usually one <laughs> okay, of the same. So they're like, oh, it's hard to forget. You're literally right there. You're the one calling the paramedics. Why are you carrying me to a dumpster? You know, things like that. Like those are the last thoughts that I hear out loud a lot. Well, see, that, but, you that, know, that's... like people that come and see the shows, they buy their tickets. You know, they spend 12 or $13 on a ticket. And then, you know, years later, they're, it's still in their mind. Like, ah, oh, that was the, you know, that, that, was, a, that was a gift. That was the pinnacle of my uh, audience Have experience. You, you've never seen like a full show of mine. Like, you don't know. Like, there's fire. Like, I'm lighting cigarettes and all kinds of stuff. Like what you used to do in, well, not Vegas. Laughlin. Right. Laughlin. But, but like, what you used to do there? Like, is that what you're talking about? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit of that. A little bit of this. Crazy mix-em-ups. You know? <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, I haven't. Um, all I've seen is I've seen the singing. Uh, like, you did a really good number uh, the other night. Uh, you did uh, Desperado. Despacito. Despacito. Yeah. It's yeah. A, uh, I don't know the song. Nah, it's a, it's a Mexican song. Oh, okay. It's a yeah. Mexican yeah, I, <laughs> I mean, you did really well with it. Thanks. Yeah, I, don't, my I couldn't Spanish understand what little... you were saying. Well, that's because it was in Spanish. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. 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 Unless you're Spanish, you're not going to get it. Right. You know? But just... it's all, you could still experience it. Like, I don't know yeah, it was good. what that Lord of the Dance is doing, but when I watch it, I'm like, oh my God, like, that's great. <laughs> yeah. Just because I don't speak fairy or whatever that is doesn't mean i'm not gonna enjoy it. You know? Yeah, no, and like, it, it was good, and like, I could see that, like, you, you, you know, you had the, the dancing mm-hmm. right and everything. So, like, I could only assume that, and everybody was clapping, and, you know, like, yeah. I saw there was a couple Mexicans, and, you know, like, they stood up and they started up, yeah, shooting, shooting the their guns. guns. Yeah, that was good. Know? Yeah, yeah, that's all, that's a, that's a sign of approval. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, see, I just, I thought that they were trying to, like, hold the place up or something. No, 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 when they shoot the guns, that means that they like you. Oh, okay. It's like when a black guy calls you the N-word, you know, you're like, oh, oh I made it! Okay, you know? yeah, well, I mean, now you, now you've really touched home. Yeah. You know, uh, so I can really relate to that. Uh, but so... Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen any of the episodes or not, but so what no, we do uh, is we pull out questions. You know, I've got uh, just random questions. Who, who from gives the, these? Qu- like, who 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 made you? Who wrote these? Aren't from like these? Aren't people that want to know things like that? Know me, right? These they they don't know you. Okay, yet. all right. So these aren't like this isn't like my parole officer. Or, no, or, this okay, yeah right. yeah. It's not like people ask like it's not like Vic. When was the last time? You know, yeah, like, yeah. where like, were you where on are this you? day? <laughs> yeah, no. where are you right now? Right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. When are you yeah. coming back? Who were you with last night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. No, right. so it's just random, you know. Okay. It's just so. Let me explain it to you. Uh, okay. It's kind of just to get into your mind and your way of thinking, and we just want to see kind of you know what what you think about things. Sure, sure. Okay. What so, is that? What is it in? Is that a bear trap of some sort? Uh, is it going to snap your hand? No. So I, it's a piece of art that I made uh, when I was piece in of shit. That I made when I was in oh, high school. Oh, you made that? That is fucking nice, man. Hey, thanks. That is really good. Yeah, I made it when I was in high school. Um, if you look real close, uh, you can see where I, I'm, I mean, Superman signed the side of it. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, that then, is good. Well, yeah. this one says Clark Kent, so. That's Superman. No, that's a fucking reporter. <laughs> uh, so, have you ever seen the movies? No. Movies? I All read right. about him in the papers. <laughs> well, the, he's actually Superman. Who? Clark. Clark Kent is Superman. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, that's the that's the the is bit. That the joke. That's the thing. I kind of like see he puts it the now. glasses on. You know, like you know, like if you took yours off, you'd be oh, Vic Goldstein. Yeah. And he's hiding it the whole time. The whole time. So like Clark Kent is right-handed, but Superman's left-handed type thing. And well, they're both know. right-handed. But really. Yeah, but it's the glasses. I'm thinking of Jesus. I'm thinking of the Bible. That's what I'm thinking of. Jesus is one in... That's the same thing. Jesus and Superman is the exact same thing. What, some fucking space alien <laughs> lands on Earth and all of a sudden saves everything and can fly and float and pick up buildings and make wine water, you know? Well, that kind of fucks me up because Superman also dies and comes back to life. Yeah. Yeah, everything for a dollar. So did Jesus. That's what, uh, yeah. Everything for a dollar, you know? Wait, so is Superman a religious thing? Yeah. What? Yes. So, of course, but yeah, that's the whole that's the whole con is that Superman is Jesus, and it's no. it's a way to preach Jesus to kids through comic books and movies and video video games and and cookies and all kinds of shit. And you don't realize it, but I mean, it's a deity from a different planet wow. who has a god who has a father. You know what I mean? That we never meet. That we never meet. Okay. Who looks like Mar? Because God looks like Marlon Brando too. <laughs> And, uh, <laughs> you know, he lives sense. in a big ice palace, and, you know, just <laughs> wow. like God. 
that's kind of fucking me up right now because I've been a Superman fan my entire life. Yeah. And never once did I be like, hey, you know who's probably actually Superman? Jesus Christ. Well, yeah. Well, Superman is Jesus. You know. Yeah, like he did come back. He just came back in comic book form. Right. You know? <laughs> yeah, he came back with a cape. He's like, I'm gonna come back and fuck this. I'm doing movies. <laughs> <laughs> like I am really gonna capitalize on this almighty dollar. And you know those Jews that killed me? Yeah, they're gonna make the movies, and I'm they're gonna get- fucking. I'm going to capitalize <laughs> off that, too. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just own this whole business. <laughs> I'm going to get the juice you know? back. <laughs> you know? <laughs> okay. Well, uh, yeah, now I can't. Well, I'm not even going to be able to watch the film. Cause oh, it's you gonna, got to. It's going to be like made f- by Jews for you gotta, Jews. That's, like, so Die Hard's a Christmas movie. For me, Superman's an Easter movie. Okay. Hey, yeah. that, yeah. I watched well, Superman that... 1 on, on, the fr- on Good Friday, and then yeah. on Sunday I watched 3. You you skip Superman two? No, two is on Saturday. But I'm showing you the the game. You know, oh, you know okay, I mean? yeah, 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 okay, yeah. okay. I thought. I mean, because technically Superman four would be the one. That'd yeah, but be the come one on, they, they jumped the shark on that shit, right? Then, you know? Yeah, that was like the the King James version. <laughs> right. where they're like, oh, now let's add some other shit. Exactly. And you're like, ah, fuck off. <laughs> yeah, we got to give him a different. Yeah, no, I like the Old Testament <laughs> Superman. You <laughs> know, like the original the OG shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Back to my. Fucking, oh yeah, yeah. Back to your fucking. Popsicle sticks. Yeah, so it's going to be random questions from random people. Okay, cool. I'm excited. Yeah. All right, so. All right, let's see what we got. What did we get? Uh, If you could spend the day with any person from history, who would it be? Ooh, that would be a good one for you. That is tough. Who haven't I spent a – and somebody I haven't spent a day with before probably, I imagine. So somebody knew. I mean, I would – Somebody knew. Yeah, I mean, it's up to your interpretation, but, like, I would definitely – I would assume. Yeah. Uh, I heard Babe Ruth liked to party a lot. Yeah, yeah, dude, that guy could pound some beers. Yeah, like he, I think Babe Ruth would be a fun fucking dude to hang out with. You know what I mean? Like he had the like for a big fat ugly guy, <laughs> like he would get the puss right. all the time. You know what I mean? Okay, and so yeah. me, all the side puss that would just roll off this guy, <laughs> I'd be swimming in it. Cause I mean, I'm not a bad looking guy. You know what I right. mean? But like, I'm no Babe Ruth either. You know? Okay, like, I'm not like. Nah. Yeah. Uh, you know, sanctuary like a humpback. <laughs> but like, uh, I think like, uh, yeah, between his fame and I love the Yankees, so like, it would have been great to hear stories about how he, you know, hit the balls and how he tried to run with that big ass body, <laughs> how many hot dogs he could eat, you know, right. things like that, you know. And then also like partying with the guy, which is oh my god, right. so great. Like swimming in the wake, like getting the chum. Oh, oh yeah, but his chum is still like whale size. Okay? Right? Like, yeah. You know, he's yeah. Just, uh, just total glutton. You know what I mean? Just bringing it in. <laughs> yeah. 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 Just getting a second. Yeah, just I think that would be good. Okay. How about you? What do you, what do you got? You got somebody from? This is a big. That's a pretty broad question. Like, yeah, I mean, what that's, kind of music do you like? Right. Yeah. Exactly. Like that. That one's hard because you know, like, do you, do you go in like the aspect of like the performer? You know, like what you're talking about. Yeah. You know, somebody who's like very well, yeah, or somebody you can learn something from. You know, like yeah, or do you go with somebody you know that like. I don't know. Maybe somebody that you always, you know, were like super attracted to, you know, like, oh, that. yeah, this is your one shot. You're yeah. Like, ex- you're, you're like the M&Ms and, you know, you got one shot. Oh, uh, uh, M&M. Yeah. 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 The green one. <laughs> yeah. The okay. girl. The, the green yeah. one. Like, you're horny. <laughs> you're like, I got one shot. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Spag- <laughs> spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti. Yeah. Um, you know, probably, uh, Robin Williams would be a really cool person to hang out with. You kind of yeah. remind me of Robin. That would be cool. He would be a good guy, too. Yeah. Uh, we passed each other a couple times in, in a couple different hallways. Um, just He'd be going one way, and I'd be going the other way. Anywhere know? in particular or just, like, random hallways? Uh, one was in Minnesota, weird enough. Weird enough. He was yeah. on. Yep. He just got done doing Mork and Mindy, and he was doing uh, – he got hired out of the Laugh House or the Chuckle Pit or the fucking Funny Bone or maybe, you know, one of those. Yeah. And was doing a little tour – and we were in Minnesota, and just walking right by. The, in Minnesota, it's so cold, they have all these, uh, like, tubes that connect all the buildings together because they don't want you to go outside in the winter. So, like, when you oh, have to go okay. from one building to another, you walk in these elevated things above the street like a giant gerbil, you know? <laughs> okay. And you're just like, hey, okay, and, you know? And then, but, yeah, so he was coming out of one hotel, and I was going out of the other hotel, and we just passed each other right by. And I yeah. Was like, Man, you know, that, that Did you guys stop for water at the same no, no, but I, right there, I was like, oh, that was the funniest thing I've ever seen. You know, like, <laughs> she and Robin Williams, that was the best show I've ever seen, right there, boom. <laughs> Did he recognize you, or, like... Oh, no, 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 I don't... He was... He, yeah, his 
pupils. This is back in like the eighties. His pupils were huge. Oh, like, so yeah, yeah, he was like hyper focused. He, he could have seen through me, maybe, right. <laughs> yeah. but walking very fast. If you right. know what I mean, like nanu nanu, just right. all the way through, just like, straight. Through. Yeah, he was he like was, he was not on he earth was high anymore. On cocaine. He was high on cocaine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, that's a good one. Robin Williams would have been great. Yeah, he, you know, just like he did so much, you know, obviously for comedy and like show, like you know, like I, with what I've seen from you is very similar to Robin. You know, you just oh, thank you. That's a big compliment. I didn't say it was as good as him. I well, just said I mean, it was similar to, to the yeah, style. Just to remind you of something, you know what I mean? Like your, yeah, your car out front reminds me of a car that works. You know what I mean? So it's like <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like well, thanks. Like that's where <laughs> right. we, that's where I achieved to be. Something. Right? Yeah, it's, you know it's I mean? going that direction. Kind of like, okay. Well, the thing is, you wouldn't have been able to get a word in edgewise with Robin. That's the thing, though. Like right. Oh, God, oh, look at me. Here we are. Oh, 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 oh and then I'm going to do a thing. And, you know, I just dancing around all the time. And then you're like, okay, this is, I'm, I'm getting a little tired of this shit. <laughs> yeah, you know? Okay. Like, this is a, two minutes, guys. I got to go. Is that- you know what I mean? I haven't even been able to at say least hello with ba- yet. At least with Babe Ruth, you got to hold like a day because he's. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to catch his breath. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like it's, it takes a while for Babe to do things. So right. Yeah. He's not going to be. Yeah, it's, you get more for your buck. That's why he was never. Uh, he never hit a home run. He always had to stop at first base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. I don't know if that's accurate at no, all. No, I think he hit a lot of home runs. I think that's why he was Babe Ruth. <laughs> That's why people gave a shit, you know. <laughs> Nobody really gives a shit about a fat guy who only gets on first. He doesn't think, oh, yeah, you're going to be huge one day, guy. <laughs> He's I'm already yeah, there. Yeah, he just points <laughs> to first base, like the famous, ah, I'll just be over here, guys. Points to the ground, bunts <laughs> it, and walks over there. You like know models. where to find me. Yeah, I'll be over here. Yeah, nobody gives a shit about a fat guy that can only make it to first. <laughs> well, then maybe that's why he was so good at hitting. He, cause he had like, to because he couldn't run. Right. He's that's like, I need to walk. Yeah, and that's okay. what it was. It would be like a 10, 15-minute show of him walking and waving and shit, but it was really like, I got to hit this out of the box. <laughs> Because I am not. Gonna, <laughs> they will get I'm not me every time. Second. Right. You know what I mean? You ever try to go 60 in like a bus? It's not going to happen. No. You know? Yeah. You know? <laughs> Same thing. It's like, you'll get there, but it's not going to be fun for anybody. Right. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You'll get where you're going, just not real fast. Yeah, not real fast. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, that makes sense then. You know, I just, I've never really been like, I'm a football guy. I've never really been a baseball oh, yeah. guy. Oh, I, yeah. I don't play football or you know, anything. I used to play baseball, but I bet on football. Every okay. Once in a while, yeah. 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 What team are you like? Oh, uh, the team that I think is going to win. I don't give a shit. Like, that's, oh, you, you, don't, you don't, don't, no, you don't make it personal. You don't okay. get invested. You know, like, this is my team. Like, right. Oh, really? What position do you play, you fucker? <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. you got a judge a nice jersey. Is that your last name? No. Then what the fuck are you doing? I'm gonna wear a cop uniform and be like, "This is my precinct." Get the this fuck is- out of here. You know what I mean? Like, you fucking poser. Right. So like, no, I'm not like one of those guys. Like, oh, we're the Chiefs. Like, Ooh, no, you're not. You no, you like, <laughs> make me if it can make you money. If it's a good deal. If it's a good bet. Then, right. Then that's yeah. your team for the night. Like, that's good. And then the next night they could shit the bed and you're like, fuck you. Right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it doesn't matter. And then you don't. Yeah, you never get your heart broken. Okay, well that makes sense. So do you like? Are are you an odds guy? Like you play the odds, oh, yeah, yeah. or do you play against the uh, odds? Points sometimes with the odds, sometimes against the odds. It depends on what people know. You know, there's there's guys out there that are like trained to find out like what kind of wood is on the basketball court. You know, and if this this one quarterback is on coke or his girlfriend broke up with him. Or, okay, you know yeah. what I mean. And that shit all he's got plays the inside. Into, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you know whatever, and and then you find that stuff out. So, yeah, I mean, sometimes you play against the odds, sometimes with the odds. Sometimes makes, just blind, you know, because yeah. it's the end of the night. It's like a roll of the dice. Yeah. yeah. I like horses. Horses is always blind. You go down, you look at it. <laughs> yeah. Unless you're a horse doctor, you don't know what the fuck you're looking at. You're <laughs> like, oh. I see guys down there, like, in the Armani suits and their big watches, and they're, like, touching horse balls and shit. I'm like, you got to just do that because you like it. Right, you're not yeah. get, what the f- You're not getting anything from it, like. <laughs> I think this one's lighter. He's probably gonna run faster. Oh nope, this one's yeah, this one's heavy. He's he needs yeah, he needs a release. He's gonna be running slower. <laughs> Maybe that's what they're doing though. Maybe they're releasing. Yeah, if that's the case. I mean, that's, but is that cheating? I, if you're running slower because your balls are full, then Babe Ruth's balls must have been so full. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> that's not what it's gonna take that's to decide not- that this horse is gonna win. Like, oh, th- this one's a little. No, you know, you know why he's going to run a little slower? Because you just tapped him in the nuts five times before he had to go out and perform. He's weak at the knees. Yeah, like, yeah, this one's going to go slow, you think? Let me do that to you. See how fast you chase me, you know? <laughs> no shit. Uh, well, Vic, I know that you're super busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you got a lot of shit going I on. I didn't even know that you were leaving, going to fucking tra- yeah, travel in the country tomorrow. I mean... Uh, you had me pick you up at the Motel 6, yeah. and I just assumed that you were going to be here for a minute. Yeah, they got to check out at 11, but I asked till 1, so I, I got here. I'm here till 1. 
Okay, well. But, but I do got stuff to do, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, either way, man, I really appreciate you being here. Yeah, me too. And this was great. I don't really normally talk to people. Normally I talk at people, you know what I mean? Right, On stage, yeah. you know what I mean? But And then they'll come up and they'll buy a drink or something and it's loud. You can't really do stuff. But this was nice to actually excuse me, talk to another human being. <laughs> yeah. You know, about things. Right, yeah, well. Well, well, I appreciate you being here for sure. And uh, you said that somebody made you some social medias. Do you know what they are? Uh, yeah, the real Vic Vinegar. Duh, like the real Vic Vinegar. D a r e a l v i c vinegar. You know, how okay. you spell that? V i n e g a r. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's on the uh, Teddy Grams Instagram. Yeah. Okay. That's the one. And then uh, the YouTube's. I don't. I don't think I'm on the YouTube's yet. And okay. Then, uh, Tic Tacs. TikTok. Yeah. Okay. What yep. What are you on TikTok? The real Vic Vinegar, but I think it's the in that one. I think it's the real Vic Vinegar. Okay. Yeah. Instagram has a lisp. It's like the real Vic Vinegar, and then TikTok's like we're the real Vinegar. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay. Well. I'm going to put all of that stuff yeah, down down okay. at the bottom, you know, so you guys at home can check that out. Um, the guy's super funny, super talented. I you're mean, you're going to print out a copy of this and send it to me when you're done. Like so the word, read it. like the words that we said. Yeah, like the book, the book that's coming out of the transcript or whatever you're doing. This is a this is a video. That says Alexis's MacBook Air on the screen. Yeah, but there's a camera on it. That's so a, that's a computer, my friend. This guy, that's a computer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but but I'm recording it on the computer through the mics into the computer. It's a microphone. You don't record video with a microphone. Have you been in entertainment very long? <laughs> You don't record <laughs> video through a microphone. He's like, where's the guy winding up the camera? Yeah. <laughs> guy's a, dressed like a lion tamer, you know, <laughs> with the big bullhorn, like, go. <laughs> this Do it. can't be real. Yeah, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> so this goes on YouTube. So it's going to be on I'm there. I'm going to be on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's I'll, great. My nephew's going to be so excited. <laughs> that's going to be so excited. I'll have to send you the link. Yeah. Uh, you'll just click it. He'll show okay. you. Yeah, just print you, it out and send it to me. Yeah, that's a, yeah. Yep. Yes. Send me the link. Yeah, send me your PO box. Yep, mail it to me. Um, <laughs> so, link. so uh, it's all all his stuff's gonna be at the bottom, guys. Uh, go check him out. Um, he sings, he dances, he fucking juggles, and uh, has boys on his lap, and you know all kinds of weird shit. Yeah, right, magic. That's still not the right card, Vic. Uh, well, I forgot what it was anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much, and th thanks for being on. Vic. Yeah, hey, cheers. We didn't cheers. Oh yeah, let's let's do it. Yeah, to to more whatever it is that we do. Oh fuck, he's taking that all the way back. All right. Uh, well, I, yeah, yeah, that was the last one. Uh, th <laughs> thanks, guys. We'll catch you next time. Hey, goodbye, YouTubes. <laughs>